Hello guys, Mr. Danamon2050 here. Welcome to the next part of my guide where I show you how to build a gaming PC. Now first of all, we're going to be plugging in the power cables for the hard drives. So these are the side cables which I mentioned earlier in the last video. So we're plugging one into that hard drive, one into this second hard drive, and now here we're going to be plugging the last one of these into the SSD. We're just going to give the SSD a little bit of support because if you guys have actually felt an SSD, they're incredibly light and uh, yeah, stuff like that. And yeah, we're just going to plug the, the last one into the actual CD slash DVD drive here. So we can install Windows and everything like that. All you guys won't be using CD drives, but you know, they do come handy for that. Now, next up, guys, we're going to be installing the fans. Now, these are already, you know, installed. We're just going to be plugging these in so they can, you know, spin. Now, we're using a... Well, I actually picked up five of these adapters for about £2 off Amazon. The low-speed adapters, and you're just going to... You plug them in between the actual connection and the connection on the motherboard. So you just put them in there, and then you'll be plugging this into the motherboard. This, guys, as you can see in the cable, it is a resistor. It just resists a little bit of the electricity to make the fans spin a little bit slower. Because these aren't exactly, you know, the best fans in the world, but by using these, they just slow down, and, you know, you're going to be getting uh, less noise and everything like that. So you're just going to plug this into one of the headers on the motherboard. This is a fan header. It should say something like System Fan or SYS Fan. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that's one fan installed. So we're going to be plugging in another one of these fans. Again, there's a header on the right side of the motherboard. The, these headers are going to be on the outside of the motherboard. Um, they're not going to be anywhere near the middle of anything like that. So you guys can plug them in nice and easily on the outside. So there I look, system of fan. Now next up, guys, we're going to be plugging in the Wi-Fi card or the network card. This, guys, is a Wi-Fi card which uh, Devin wanted because he's wanting to be using uh, Wi-Fi from up in the attic. He actually also lives on the top floor where I do, I suppose, at my house. So there we are, just going to plop that in there into, the one of the, into one of the PCI Express Times 1 sockets on the motherboard. And voila, once that's done, screw it in. And once you've um, finished screwing that in, you want to give it just a, uh, you know, a small wobble, see if it works. And there we are, look. It, it's all in. Now next up guys, we're going to be installing the actual SATA cables to so the SSD, both the hard drives and also the CD slash DVD drive. This guys allows the motherboard to communicate with all of the storage that you've got. And uh, yeah, then you can start installing your OS. You can start storing all your photos, videos and all that kind of stuff. So that's one there going into the SSD. These are SATA cables. They're very, very generic and yeah, you can, these can only really go in one way. So if it's not going in, turn it around. Yeah, the connection's an L shape. As you can see, look, really easy to put in. So I've plugged in an SSD and a hard drive. We're just going to be plugging in another one. So just going to plug in this one here to the bottom hard drive. Some of these will be L-shaped and some of them will be straight, but really doesn't really matter, you know. They're still going to do the same kind of job. We've got four of these with the actual um, motherboard box, so that's uh, all nice and good. Anyway, I'm going to show you where to plug these in on the motherboard. So just going to turn the camera angle there. As you can see, these are going into these ports here. The black ones on here are 3 gigabit ports, and then the grey ones are 6 gigabit. You only really want to use um, the 6 gigabit ones for stuff like SSDs. By plugging hard drives and CD drives into the 6 gigabits, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to speed them up. But one thing you want to make sure is that you actually, you know, put the SSDs into the 6 gigabit ports. Since I didn't get a very good camera angle, here are some images, just on different motherboards. These are the side ports that we've just plugged them cables into. So as you can see, look, they're very, very generic. Turns out they're going to be rather blue or black or grey, something like that. And uh, yeah, you just want to plug the cables into there. So as I've just said, this cable here was for the SSD. We're going to move that into one of the grey ports because that's a 6 gigabit port. It allows the SSD to go twice as fast, literally. And finally, we're going to be plugging in the CD slash DVD drive. So we're going to plug in one of the cables into there. There we are. And then we're going to plug the other end into the motherboard. So we're just going to thread it behind the case there. And then I'm going to thread it back in to plug it into one of these ports. Doesn't really matter which one you plug it in. I mean, I chose to plug this into the 6 gigabit port. It really doesn't matter at all. Um, you know, a CD drive can't really take advantage of a 6 gigabit port. But, uh, you know. Anyway, so here's the graphic card, the GTX 780 Ti. This, guys, is what makes uh, an actual uh, PC a gaming PC, shall we say. And as you can see here, look, with the power connectors, we require a 6-pin and also an 8-pin. We're going to be installing this, you know, these kind of cables into the graphic card, and then going to be putting it into the actual motherboard. It's typically easier this way because the graphic card can kind of, like, you know, slide out uh, if, if you're trying to put the power connectors in. But yeah, you need a PCIe, uh, a 6-pin and also an 8-pin. So we're going to be plugging in the 8-pin first. That goes in just there. So I just put the graphic card on onto the desk here just to put the cable in. 
They can be a little bit difficult to put in these cables if, if you just bought, you know, say a brand new power supply. But once you've got them in, they should be all fine and dandy. So that's the six pin. That goes in there. Oh, good. So you are look, the graphic card is now powered and it's ready to be put into the computer. So here we are, you just want to line it up. And yeah, you want to be putting this into the top PCI Express TAMS 16 port. This, this enables the graphic card to run at the fastest it possibly can. So line it up. Once you've got it lined up there with the, with the back of the case, you just want to push it in just like that. There we are. And then you want to screw it in, just start to the left hand side with some screws and just, you know, kind of manage your cables as I'm doing right now on the screen. So yeah, just screw it in, and once it's done, uh, that's it, you know, you've kind of built your PC, it's as simple as that. Um, yeah, I, I really do believe you guys can build a computer in two or three hours. Uh, this video has been edited and cut and all, all that kind of stuff, so, you know, we've been able to build this in under about 45 minutes. But uh, yeah, that, that's the Build a Gaming PC, thank you very much, very much for watching guys. Um, and as you can see, you know, just the last bits here, we're just screwing the actual screws in here. Once this is done, the computer's done. <laughs> it's all done and can be powered on, then we can install Windows 7 or 8, whatever you want to use. Voila, all finished. Now here you are, here you are guys, here's some photographs. As you can see, if you're building a computer in, say, a big case, a small case, if if you're wanting to water cool, uh, if you're wanting to use multiple graphic cards, or even a very, very high-end graphic card, System builds are going to be exactly the same, and I think you guys will uh, yeah, be able to do it by following this guide. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments as I get back to you um, in, you know, say, a few hours. And, uh, yeah, I hope this series has been helpful for you guys, and if, yeah, you do have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll get back to them. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in my next video. Goodbye.